Hey YouTube, Todd back with another video for you. In today's quick tip video, we're gonna talk about how to organize your sample libraries. So let's get started. Okay, so how should we organize our sample libraries? You should spread them out over a couple of hard drives if you can, if you have the resources to do that. As you can see here, I have three different hard drives. I have two hard drives that are SSD that are connected to Thunderbolt, and I have a, since I have the 2013 Mac Pro, I have this little cradle that I can put my two SD, two SSD drives in, and that's what I'm using through Thunderbolt. And then my other hard drive, which is uh, four terabytes, is actually just a Western Digital, uh, like a My Passport drive. I'll link them in the bottom so you know exactly which ones I have. But that's how I do it. People are probably asking, do you see any speed reductions with the non-SSD drive? Actually, I, I don't with most libraries, but like East West and stuff like that that are very highly intensive, um, I have those on SSD drives. But for the most part, most of my sample libraries, I'm running them off the four terabyte uh, Western Digital drive. And I don't really see any speed hiccups um, so far. And it's running off USB. So how I have them organized, and this is very crucial because once you get into contact, and then you, you know, because if your library does not go into the contact layer you know you can see your libraries on the tab list and you actually have to go into files this is where it's really crucial to heck make sure that you're naming all your sample libraries with folders and putting them in there just to be organized because i'm telling you once you get a lot of sample libraries as we'll see here it can get very confusing especially when you hit that contact files menu so here's my main sample libraries and i believe this one is on one of the ssg drives and it's just the ones that I go to all the time. It's the libraries I'm always using. So if you have an, one SSD drive, let's say you have a 500 terabyte or maybe even a one terabyte drive, make sure you utilize the libraries that you always use all the time. Put that on those drives. Don't put all your libraries on the drive that you, you don't use all the time, just your go-to libraries. As you can see, I have Cine Samples, East, West, Orchestral Tools. So these ones I have in my template, or if they're very intensive, libraries like you need an ssd drive to do it then put it on there but my good recommendation or what i do is i just put the libraries that i know i use all the time and then so i have a sample library now this is the western digital drive so as you can see i have a whole ton of different sample library developers and i how i organize it is i put it by the company name and then i'll just go into let's say here and these are all the libraries I have by that company. And then I just put them in, in like that. So that's how I kind of structure my, my libraries. And then this one over here, this is my other SSD drive, which is hosting all of my Hollywood orchestra uh, from East West because it, there's a lot of content and East West libraries tend to run better on an SSD drive. I did have them on this drive here and I did see performance issues. It would take a lot long. I think in my first template video or the full walkthrough I did recently uh, back in August, uh, I was running it off of this drive. And when I was loading samples in it, you could tell it was chugging along. But now since I put it on this SSD drive, it runs a lot better. So that's just a little quick tip. I think hopefully it will help you. I know getting started sometimes this could be overwhelming. How should I put my sample library? Should I put them all on one drive? A good rule of thumb, like I said at the beginning, is spread them out over many drives. If you only have uh, a regular mechanical drive, it's okay. Maybe get a couple of those and spread them across you know, a few drives. And another tip you wanna do is make sure you don't fill the hard drive that you're using to full capacity. Make sure you leave you know, some gigabytes there on all the drives. Just that it just makes a run better and, and a little more efficient that way. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Head on over to my website, toddkedwards.com. I'm adding some cool stuff on there. If you're interested on in some coaching, let's say you need some help with your template building, stuff like that, fill out the contact forum and we'll set up a free consultation. Follow me up on Twitter, which is at Todd K. Edwards. And as always, I'll see you on the next video.